Hi everyone, my name is Rohit. I'm a software engineer at NativeBase and Geeky Ants. Uh, so NativeBase is a, a UI component library uh, that Sankit mentioned before, and I'm I'm the I'm one of the uh, co-developers there. So I've been working with uh, NativeBase for the past 1.5 years and more, I think. Uh, yeah. And for the to, uh, today's topic is universal navigation in React Native plus Next.js stack. So uh, this topic uh, arised recently. Uh, I tweeted uh, about the stack. So my question was, how common is React Native plus Next.js as a tech stack? And uh, I, I wasn't hoping for a lot of response uh, from that tweet. Uh, but to my surprise, uh, many, uh, many developers and many uh, like the important people in the community uh, uh, reacted to it and shared their thoughts. Uh, some of them are here. Uh, I was uh, hope I was thinking that uh, not many uh, developers will be using this tech stack because uh, I haven't heard about this uh, for the past one year or two. Uh, but to my surprise, uh, it was it was very common between the peers. And many uh, many uh, people were using it on production as well. So so I thought uh, this would be a great topic to talk about and the problems that the stack uh, brings with that uh, with all its features. So uh, but one question uh, a user asked is like why React Native plus Next.js? So if anyone wants to guess, uh, raise your hand and they can answer. No. Uh, so React Native plus Next.js as a tech stack helps you create uh, Android plus iOS plus web apps. Uh, also, it provides all the features that Next.js provides, uh, all the server-side rendering uh, upgrades that you need from a React app. And for those who are uh, aren't aware about what Next.js is, uh, Next.js is a framework that uh, brings the server-side rendering features to React ecosystem. And your Expo app can be considered as an iOS or web uh, mobile iOS or Android app. So let's move forward. So uh, so the main problem that this stack has is about navigation. But what kind of navigation, right? So if if we uh, see navigation in the Next.js app. Uh, so the page uh, like how you do uh, navigation in the Next.js app. You, uh, you can, uh, there are two ways basically. Uh, one is uh, like using your page uh, page routing. So uh, you, as you can see here uh, on the left side, uh, if I write user and id.js, this user will be my uh, slug, user slash, whatever I write will be passed down as a parameter and I can fetch it in the id. Uh, Similarly, uh, it also provides a set of hooks and set of components that you can use for navigation. One of the uh, few of them are link and router. Uh, so this is how basically you do navigation in Next.js app. Uh, and for your Expo or CRNA project, there's only one answer, right? Uh, React navigation. And I won't be going into that detail because React navigation is a whole massive thing on its own. So you can, you guys can check it out if you haven't already. Uh, so the common ground, what is the common ground between these? So my, there's a, my Next.js app, there's my Expo app. So what's the common ground? Uh, it's screens and components basically. So you can share your screens, your pages, and your components between uh, both the environments. And that has been the case for the past uh, I think two years, three years since when the React Native web is existing. Uh, but so why I'm giving this talk, right? Uh, what's the problem? The major problem here is if you, if I want to navigate, uh, suppose there's a button called uh, user detail, right? And I want uh, to click on that and take me to the another page where my detail will be shown. So that's not possible right now. Uh, if because uh, th that's not possible in a shared code based set setup kind of thing. Uh, for that, you need to write a 
separate API for uh, your Next.js app because the navigation works there differently using Next link component. And in Expo, uh, sorry, not Expo, in React navigation, you have to use your navigator.push kind of uh, API. So how you can solve this? So anyone wants to guess? No? OK. So here comes uh, our savior, Solito. So it's a handy package, small wrapper kind of thing that uh, Fernando Rojo released recently. And uh, he has been working on it for a year or so. So what this does is it provides you a, a common API between Next.js and your nav React Navigation API. And you don't have to think about writing two separate codes. Uh, you can straight away use uh, the Solito API in your uh, apps, in your screens, in your components, and uh, rest of all, all the things will be taken care of by Solito. So let's see an example. Before that, uh, I would like to show you uh, this uh, small tool I uh, recently published. Uh, uh, it helps you, uh, you can uh, straight away copy this code and run it. Uh, it will uh, install a template, a uh, Turbo Repo template uh, with native base plus Next.js plus Expo setup, uh, Mono Repo setup, and uh, it will uh, guide you through how, how you can uh, use Solito and all. So, yeah, let's see the demo then. So, I will down here. So, this is how the, uh, the template will look. There's a, uh, the home screen. This is the home screen. I will click on open user details. This will straight take me to a next screen called user. Uh, that will show, hey, there native ways. And I can go back. Okay. So this is how React Navigation would happen. Now suppose I run the same code here as well. Just a second. Yeah. I will stop it. And I will run yarn web. So this will run my Next.js app. Uh, let's see what it shows. Yeah. So as you can see, that same screen got shown here. Uh, and I, if I click here, you can see the URL will be changing, showing user slash native base. This native base is the parameter that is showing here. If I change here native base one. This will also update to one, right? So this is how uh, this. So let me show the screen code first. So I will open home.js. This is the first screen that you will be seeing, and inside here you can see like on open user details. When I when I clicked on open user details, uh, it took me to user slash native base. Uh, this is the Solito link component that I was talking about. And yeah, solitaire slash link. So here, from here, I'm importing it. Uh, what it does, it takes me to the, uh, what should I say, the next Next.js app inside that user. So this is the route slash native base. This is the ID. I'm just exporting user details screen from here. And this user uh, details screen is, uh, let me show you. User detail screen. Yeah. So here I'm uh, getting the, uh, I'm using create param uh, hook from Solito. Uh, it returns me another hook use param uh, using which I, I pass the, my uh, slug. This is the slug that I used in uh, here. The slug is called ID and uh, I'm getting that ID and I'm uh, adding it here. The same thing happens, the same code runs again uh, in your React Navigation app. So if I show you navigation index, yeah, yeah. So you can see uh, create na uh, native, uh, create, create native stack navigator from React Native, React Navigation. Uh, using that, I create a stack. Stack, nav uh, stack navigator, stack screen, and here I'm passing my component as home screen, and here user detail, right? And uh, these screens are being shown here on my simulator. 
so this is the same thing so i think that's it uh, that was the solito demo for you and yeah so i think that's it from my side uh, i hope uh, i was able to introduce you to a new uh, thing in react native world and i hope you guys try it out uh, and you guys can follow me here uh, i do uh, some mono uh, some mini projects uh, on daily basis not daily basis but yeah i tweet about a lot of new things that i find interesting so you guys can check out my profiles and give a follow there yeah. that's it bye thanks